I'm your host, Walter Schwabe. We're live at uh, the Analytics Big Data in the Cloud Conference in Edmonton, Alberta. And I'm joined from someone who works in space, but is actually from Earth. Uh, you know, at least, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll ask him. Uh, Khalid, who's a Klingon. And uh, you know what? It's interesting because uh, I didn't think that being at the conference here, I'd have an opportunity to interview uh, Klingon. Uh, but, you know, we got to roll with what happens, uh, and uh, so welcome to the show. Welcome to FuseLogic TV, Khalid. You have a problem with me being here? No, I absolutely don't have I a should problem. hope not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi, I'm Khalid, and I'm the interviewee this evening, and uh, having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, I want you to pick up your batleth for a minute, if you can show off the batleth, because, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, this is pretty cool, right? And, and so... Um, you know, most people who follow Star Trek and understand, I mean, this is a this is a, truly a Klingon weapon. Um, and this thing is razor sharp. It's unbelievable. Uh, and I never thought I'd see one in person, so it's, it's fantastic. Um, and so let's talk a little bit about who you are, uh, what do you do in the Klingon world? Can I put a plug in? Sure. It slices, it dices, it juliennes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you need for your kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> Kitchen would have to be huge. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the question? Yeah, oh, that's okay. So you're a chef. As a thing on. Ask my wife. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, but I don't use my batlet in a kitchen because oh, it is okay. kind of big. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> So as a Klingon, what do you do every day? As a Klingon, what do I do? I intimidate people. Oh, well, it's like okay. most Klingons. Yeah, I, think, I do. Right? Um, actually, one of the things I like about uh, the costume is wherever we go, people want to get their photograph taken with the big Klingons. Right. You know, uh, I was in Vulcan, Alberta, a very small town, and we were doing an event there for Galaxy Fest. And it took me 45 minutes to cross the road to go have my lunch <laughs> because of all the cameras. And, you know, you put the costume on, you want to draw attention to yourself or to the event that you're, uh, you're, you're participating in. Right. So you right. can't say no. Yeah. You right. can't say no. And, and I love the kids. Well, even, I mean, even here tonight, right? I mean, it was... Uh, you know, there's not a lot of kids running around this event. Yeah. However, we were all sort of like big kids. I think I was one of the first ones to say, hey, let's take a picture. Yeah. Uh, so it's so fantastic that you agreed to come on the show. And so you're out here tonight in support of the hackathon. Um, you know, you've got some colleagues with you that mm -hmm. uh, are also Klingon. And uh, so tell, is this something that uh, you've been doing for a while? I've been involved with this. I actually got start, uh, involved with the club in 1995. And... Uh, uh, I was going through a divorce at the time, and I was in the military, and I needed an outlet. I needed some place to go other than the house. And I got approached by a guy at a, at a, at a, uh, a movie. There were some Klingons that were promoting this movie, and when I walked in, I took a look, and I thought, oh, my God, you know, like stale Star Trek jokes. I mean, do I really want to be around these people? Right? And I'm in the military, very conservative, very uh, up button. And... Uh, as I looked at the application, I thought, you know, this is something that I could do that's not going to cause me grief. Like, if I go to the mess, I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to just trick my, right. my my pretty little face off, right? So um, I got in touch with these guys, and my organizational skills kicked in. And ultimately, we got involved with uh, charity organizations, putting the costumes to use in the community. Right on. Um, I'd have people that, we had one convention a year in Halifax, and uh, uh, I had to keep the interest up. Right, and I had to, you know, uh, keep people interested in costuming, keep people interested in getting into the costume, and more importantly, make them feel good about themselves. So you guys raised actually. There was an event in yep. uh, Halifax where you raised some money, right? A number of events. Right. We did a, a year um, uh, face painting, and over the course of the year, we raised around twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, that's and that, fantastic. And that's interesting. You want a good story? You want a good story? Sure. What's your first name? Walter. Walter. I'm sorry. You already told me that. I'm sorry. I got a good memory, but it's, it's okay. short. It'll be short. Walter, if you uh, hire a face painter for your event, it'll cost you up to $200. And I'm prepared to give you between four to six face painters. And the cost to you would be the recovery cost on the paints, which on average is $20. All right. Now, Walter, if you want to raise money for the event, I recommend that you sell the tickets. We'll honor the tickets. And again, the cost to you is the recovery of the paints, which on average is $20. Would you, would you be interested? Sure, of course. When we first started out, the big objection was, oh, Klingons, big and scary, no. Oh. Right, right. When I started doing that, nobody asked questions as to what we were wearing or what we looked like, and we became very popular in the community. <laughs> in fact, the Children's Wish Foundation was getting calls looking for their Klingons. For the Klingons, yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> so, and so now, do you live out in the Edmonton area now today, or? 
No, I'm living in Calgary. Oh, okay. I live in Southwest right. Calgary. Okay. So you're, you're, you're Albertan now, and uh, very much so. I can movies. vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and I wonder if there was who was your top Klingon to vote for. Well, you know, we don't we don't know. Let's not it? go there. Okay. Yeah, no, exactly, right. Um, so no, it's it's fantastic. So now, you, do you still do charitable events uh, yourself and, and your club, or? Well, from the club, I um, I stepped down as a senior command officer about uh, two three years ago, and uh, my. Uh, role is advisory to the executive command board of the club. Sort of like past president kind of thing. Yeah, basically. So I'm kind of like a member at large. They give me the title of ambassador. Oh, okay. Which is kind of fun. Um, <laughs> but I've actually uh, uh, stepped away from the costuming somewhat. Right. Um, for a number of reasons. One being that uh, uh, I was widowed in 2005 and my wife at the time was extremely involved with the club as, as I am. Oh, okay. And when I put the costume on, I'll tell you, there's a lot of ghosts that go with it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, thank you so much for being on our show tonight and putting on the wonderful costume. I mean, it's, it's completely authentic. And thank so you. is the rest of your group. It's, you know, it's really, you guys are just done up really well. Thank you. And I know that the, the, the crew, uh, you know, in terms of... Uh, our crew here has been excited to just take pictures and have fun with it. It's been a lot of well, fun. You've seen the reaction of the people in the uh, in the hallway. They love getting their picture taken. Oh, yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's all they want to do. Yeah. So that's the whole point, obviously. Exactly. So, so Kaliv, thank you very much for being on Fuse Logic TV. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate that.